is going on you guys how's everyone doing man i hope everyone's doing good and staying safe out there yeah so just wanted to come and you know talk to you a little bit about these two different products as you saw in the intro clip on the ford edge here we use the cq uk 3.0 and on the mustang here we use the armor shield and so just kind of wanted to give you my thoughts on these two different ceramic waxes in case if you're, you know, looking to apply on your car and you're looking at different products, you know, at least I can give you a little bit of insight on, you know, for these two different products that I've used before. So now in terms of application, you know, applying them onto your car, they're both pretty much the same when you apply it right meaning you know you put it on the little pad you put it on that's that's all the same between these two guys now the differences are when you rub it off right um after you rub it off this guy right here is mu uh, the armor shield is much easier to rub off okay so it does you know you just don't, meaning you don't have to like you know put as much elbow grease as if if you will to 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 rub it down right to take it off right whereas the cq uk 3.0 it does take a little bit more to rub it off right so those are pretty much the differences in terms of you know application but with that said i think in terms of the overall after result I think the 3.0 here, the CK, U, uh, CQ UK 3.0 is, just gives it that little glass finish, if you will, on the paint, right? So I can, let me see if I can take you in here. And it might be hard to see because, you know, I'm out here in the sun. Obviously they're both, you know, look shiny, but I can tell that on, on the edge here, especially after I wash it, I just washed both of these two cars, after you wash them, you know, you, you can see that little glass film, you know, finish on top of your car, right? Which is awesome. That's exactly what these two waxes are supposed to do, right? They're glass. They are a glass silica, you know, um, compound, right? When you put on your car, it's supposed to give it that glass look, right? Which this guy certainly does. Now... The armor shield here, as you can see, the Mustang is obviously, you know, quite shiny. I just, I just washed it as well, but I, and maybe it's because of the color of the car, right? Um, but I just don't see that glass little film finish on the car. I don't see it as much as I see it on the edge for sure is on the edge is like really pronounced, right? might be hard to tell on the video here I'm not sure if you can really you know tell but you know that's why I wanted to do this video just kind of talk to you a little bit about you know how what I see and the differences are um, since I've used both of these two products right so really you know depending on what you're going for you know if you want something you know uh, not as much trouble in terms of rubbing it off definitely you know go with the armor shield 
I just think, you know, since you're already doing all that work, right, to, to apply a, a wax, you know, you're going to wash your car, you're going to clay it, you're going to rub it down with alcohol, you're going to, you know, just get it, you know, really prepped up, right? You probably want to use that turtle wax one and done compound just to kind of make sure you get all the swirls and, you know, from, from the panels on your cars and, and just kind of, you know, rub that down so you get a really good finish, right? So you want to do all that cut work. So since you're already doing it, I would say, you know, for me, definitely this um, CQ UK 3.0 takes the cake. It just gives it that that little you know glass finish on it it's amazing I, I really like it every time i watch the car i'm like damn it looks brand new again <laughs> yeah and i'm not trying to bash on the armor shield or anything like that like i said i'm just giving you you know my experience in using these two products and what i've seen on them and and how they compare right based on my experience now i did read the, the instructions on these guys on both both of the bottles right make sure you read the instructions how to apply it i just think this guy here just gives it more of a glass finish again it could be because of the color of the car maybe you know this guy being black this guy being a little light blue and so you might be able to see a little bit more here uh, whereas this guy is like really dark um you know deep color that's pretty much it you guys that's just you know wanted to give you my thoughts on what i've seen with these two different products so but you know they're, they're both okay i guess i would just do this guy again as a matter of fact in a couple of months or a few more months after after the finish kind of goes down a little bit on the mustang i'll probably redo the mustang and do it with the um with the 3.0 so cool you guys yeah just something really quick again you know just wanted to give you my thoughts on these guys and uh you know go for it man if you haven't uh done a ceramic wax on your car man you gotta do it <laughs> so with that that's pretty much it you guys all right man thanks for watching stay tuned for some more cool stuff coming up on the mustang here so with that thanks you guys stay safe out there peace